Hey everyone, Chris here, JR Development. First off, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you joining the channel. And any uh, new viewers, please hit that subscribe button. I use a lot of different tools, and some of I mean, a lot of it I get from Amazon. And so down below in the description, I have links to the exact tools that I use. They have been very good to me. I think I've only bought the the bit sets I've total of three times in two years. So they're great bits. They do a good job. If these can, tools can help you out, please consider using my links down below. Uh, they really help me out, help the channel out, and help me continue doing what I'm doing. So today I'm making this fish keychain. And it is a custom order for a customer. And it's funny that this fish is exactly like the fish that they're looking for. There's only one difference is the lips. They wanted the lips to be thicker. I actually had figured out a way. And I only have Maker. Now, and plus, this probably wouldn't be an issue. But uh, this is basically for beginners or users of Carco Maker that don't know how to use this and so hopefully this will help you out and plus I'll show you I'm showing you how I mirror these over so that I can just glue both sides and make a full 3d fish so uh, I'm gonna open up a new document okay so this is the size that I'm looking for fish one is the one I want and I'm gonna go ahead and mirror this over now right click and come down to mirror vectors and since he's facing to the left we're going to mirror him to the right and I want to make him 3.25 and I'll hit apply I'll hit F9 to center hold the alt key and drag him over to the left and I'll just click off I'm not going to paste him down right now I'll pull the same fish over make him 3.25 and hit apply Hit F9 to center, hold the Alt key, and drag them over. I can close the relief folder down now. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste these down. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the scale tool. And I'm going to make it 0.375. And now I'll have to add this twice because it never stays what you want it the first time. So hit apply. That time it stayed. I'll hit cancel. So now we have the fish pretty much ready set up for tool pass, but we want to make the lips thicker. So I'm going to grab this vector tool here and I'm just going to trace out around these lips. And I'm not going to be perfect by any means whatsoever. I'm just going to do it real quick because uh, we'll adjust them here in a little bit so now i'll go ahead and hit the node editing tool and i'm going to turn these into smooth nodes by hovering over and hitting the s key and i'll kind of just drag them a little closer to the fish and, and still i'm not going to be perfect because we're going to be moving them again now that i have this in place uh, where i want it what i'm going to do is select make sure that vector selected and I'm going to hit the scale tool and on the settings I'm going to come to the mask and make sure I hit selected vector and then I'm going to hit point 0.2 and you can see that that's not high enough so I want to hit point 0.25 and you can see that that brings us up a little more but I think I'm going to go a little more like 2.7 and I'll go ahead and hit apply and then cancel and then I want to hit the smooth and if I take it down you can see we're straight if I bring it back up <clears throat> it does about half of it up here you want to make sure you have selected vector and make sure your vector is selected and what we're going to do is we're going to get st straight on here just turn a little bit and if you see if I move this I can adjust it where it ends up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this until 
it smooths into the original workpiece. So like I said, you know, that's why we're adjusting a couple times, so don't be perfect or anything. And the further you pull them out, the more is where it starts to blend in. So I'm, I'm basically just going to work my way around until I got them all where it's smoothed out. And it doesn't matter where you put these vectors. Now if you find that these control arms are in your way, you can hit the Z key and that'll hide them. Now this potentially could, if you, you know, create your outside vector around these fish or whatever relief that you have, and you need a rounded body instead of straight body, you could actually do this as well to smooth that out and it may, you know, you may possibly be able to get a more rounded body than, than what you have. So now I think what's going to happen is, see, my bit will come down and it'll come out until it hits that smooth part. And the vectors I add should go ahead and add to that. But that actually looks pretty good right there. And I now have hit apply again, cancel. And now I have the lips that the customer is looking for. So I can go ahead and cut that vector now. I don't need it there anymore. And so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you mirror them over so that you can create a full 3D fish. That's pretty much how you adjust any part of, of this model or any of the models. Just create some vectors around whatever you're trying to do. Just remember to scale it and make sure you use the mass selected vector and you're good to go now with the bit down that i have down below or the bit set is the taper ball nose and i don't use a roughing pass uh, when i create my tool pass if it was something like really deep then i would but uh just 0.375 that taper ball nose does a good job and i actually have never I've been using the same bit for six months and I've never had to replace it um, yet. And I'm actually still using the one that uh, I had purchased a year and a half ago and it still does just as good. That's with my machine, obviously with your machine you would have to choose differently, but uh, that's kind of why I put those bits down below because they're, they, they seem to do a good job. Uh, especially that taper ball nose. I just thought maybe that those would be of some use uh, to you guys if you're not using a taper ball nose and the price isn't too bad. But anyway, the other thing I like to do as well is I, when I'm done with these, I like to paint them whatever color and then I'll lightly sand over them just enough to take the paint off. It will actually detail it to perfectly. That's another suggestion for you, but I appreciate you guys watching. I thank all my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please consider joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.